space. Scientists say they discovered a planet with the most Earth-like environment they have ever seen, about 123 short trillion miles away. Oh, come on. And it's smack dab in the middle of a place that could support intelligent life. Michio Kaku, physics professor, City University here in New York, and author of the Physics of the Future book, a bestseller in the New York Times bestseller book. How you doing, sir? And good morning to you. Very good. So it's only 123 million. I mean, road trip today, right? 123 <laughs> trillion miles a hop, away. A skip and a jump away. Yeah. But you, you, know, you say this is big and exciting news to astronomers. This Tell is me. big. This is really big. Astronomers have spent a lifetime chasing after the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail, an Earth-like twin in outer space. When you look at the constellation Libra, you'll wonder whether or not anyone is looking back at you from outer space. So what are they seeing on this planet that they are so this attracted to? This planet may have a liquid ocean. If it was too close to the mother star, the ocean would turn to steam. If it was too far, the oceans would freeze. It's liquid water, we think, on that planet. And that's where life got off the ground. DNA, proteins, a mixing bowl of life is found in liquid water. But right now, we cannot say whether or not there is a liquid ocean. That's right. The next step beyond this now is to verify the fact that there is water on the planet and the temperatures are just right to have water in liquid form. The universal solvent, the mixing bowl of life okay, itself. Now, you see this picture on our screen right now? That's us to the left, right? <laughs> and that's that, what is it, Jalise? How do you say it? Yeah, Jalise 581G. All right, now you told me it's relatively close because it's only 20 light years away. We can't prove it even if there is liquid o oceans there, right? Uh, well, we can by using spectroscopy, that is looking at light from that planet, putting it through a prism, analyzing that light in a laboratory, and then we can detect the presence of water molecules. So we hope to do that and determine the atmosphere of that planet. So remember that this is the Holy Grail. People have spent a lifetime looking at it, and this could be that moment. So next then is that you would take your, your best telescopes and train it toward that area well, of space to get more information. Well, telescopes still can't see this planet because it's too dim. We look for the wobbling of the mother star, indicating that there's a solar system of planets surrounding that star. Six planets, by the way, surrounding that mother star. So it could be more at only 123 trillion miles. That would be a lot of gas. Yes, yeah, right. It would take <laughs> 300,000 years for the Saturn rocket to reach that planet. All right, let us know what you find on that. And congratulations on the book. It's been mm -hmm. a huge hit for you, and we'll see what happens with with this one. Thank you, Michio. Okay. All right. Mark